whether to rename a local school in honor of the city's first black school principal. Right now, school number three is named after the man who founded the city of Rochester, but part of his legacy has sparked a cry for change. Eric Ketta Cost reports. Nathaniel Rochester was one of the city's founding fathers, but he also owned slaves. This is a main concern brought up by parents and students of a district where 90% of the community is black, brown, or Latinx. Owning slaves um, was horrific. Superintendent Dr. Leslie Meyer Small says while Nathaniel Rochester was an integral part of the city's history, this part of his story is upsetting. But who was he? City historian Christine Radarski says he moved around a bit in his youth, serving in the Revolutionary War. But like you know, many prominent mis businessmen of that era, he relied heavily on slave labor to run his commercial industries. Meyer Small says we can recognize his place in the history books while also moving forward. Offering more representation to students is one way to do that. That's why she's formally recommending local woman Alice Holloway Young for the new name. She was one of six African American teachers first hired in our district many, many years ago. She was the first African American vice principal and principal. Young then moved on to be a trustee at MCC, where she serves today. Her recommendation came from multiple students and parents at public forums where ideas were bounced around. And she is a living legend, so she would be able to have the opportunity to certainly interact. Board members will go over the superintendent's formal recommendation and deliberate tonight at 6.30 before a final vote. In Rochester, Eric Hedda Cost, News 8. All right, Eric Hedda, thank you. After my interview, by the way, with Alice, she and I actually became friends. Uh, she lives nearby, and I can tell you, she makes a fantastic rum cake. So in addition Ooh. to everything else she's done, she has that going yeah, for her Yeah, you're going to have well. to prove that.